Hey Aries, welcome to your November 2021 Money, Career, and Business Tarot Reading with me, Stella Wild, and our special guest, Ariel. So my name is Stella Wild, and here on my channel, I give you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. I am delighted to have you here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you would like to become a VIP in the Stella Sphere and get text messages from me every day, text me at the number below, hashtag VIP to learn more. I would love to have you as a part of my world, my Stella Sphere. So this is a general reading you can watch for and apply the energies for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Remember to use the energies, don't let them use you, and apply the energies of the reading to your particular life and situation. All right, Aries, let's get into your reading. I hope that your full moon treated you well. <laughs> it was quite a doozy, wasn't it? All right. Yeah, I was a little tired with that full moon, so... Um... Let's pull a major arcana. This is the overall energetic theme for your money, career, and business energies in November, Aries. We got the sun. Beautiful. So joy, happiness, creativity, some sort of new project, new life, fresh start, fresh beginning for you. Of course, this is probably the best card in all of tarot. There could be a lot. This rules your fifth house of creativity, Leo energy. So there could be a lot of creative projects, a lot of creative feedback that's very positive of something you may have already started. Maybe in Leo season, you started it. Um, very, very nice energies. There could, there could be a lot of forward momentum with your projects because, of course, the horse motif here. Very nice. You could also be starting some sort of new creative project as well because of the uh, sacral chakra colors and solar plexus colors in this card as well. So something very much aligned with your personal talents and will. But that is just a very joyful and joyous creative energy Aries. All right. So let's see what we have. All right. So we have the eight of cups. She's still there. <laughs> and the seven of cups. Okay, interesting. So what this is saying to me is uh, don't be afraid to move on and let go of something that really is past its sell by date, which you may have already done at your full moon. I am filming this on the day of your full moon. It's already peaked and passed, but <laughs> filming this on the 20th. Um, so you may in fact have made a decision, you might have already made this decision to move on from something that's unsatisfactory um, because you have a lot of other ideas and plans for your life. Here's the Seven of Cups. Now, sometimes the Seven of Cups can, yes, be a card of illusion and delusion. Sure. I like to kind of, depending on how it's aspected and here it's very favorable, I like to look at this as like a bucket list card. You still have a lot of things that you want to do and accomplish. But the way that's going to happen is by you greeting the dawn of a new day, having already left behind something that is finished. It is done, whatever this Eight of Cups is for you. This could be a place you're living. This could be a job. This could be a career that you you know are done with. You want to do something else. Uh, could be a relationship, a business partnership that somehow impacts your money, career, and business life. Whatever it might be, but you're ready for making a new daydream actually come into reality and bring joy and excitement to your life. So it is time to pursue the new dream, Aries. That's what I feel from this energy. Let's dive a little deeper into that energy. This is a great start for your November, Aries. Love it. All right, what else do we need to know about this sun card? All right, so we have a seven of swords and we have your energy, okay. So you may in fact have had, you may have had to put, put your plans, another number seven, interesting. You may have had to put your plans kind of on the down low. You may have been keeping them kind of a secret up your sleeve, so to speak, as I often say about the high priestess. You may have been hiding out, <laughs> you're trying not to draw attention to yourself as you've made this uh, transition, the eight of cups energy. Um, you know, it's interesting because your energy, of course, is one of the most blatantly honest energies in all of astrology. Sagittarius, I probably would say, is second to you. Aries is the truth teller. 
Sag is like right up there with you, with you guys. Um, so it's interesting that this is coming up with this. I think it's not about you lying to yourself. You have been brutal with the truth with yourself, which is why we had that eight of cups. You know, it's time to move on. I think you're moving on. If you haven't already done so, this eight of cups may have taken people by surprise, but you are absolutely a hundred percent sure of yourself. Like this is not your energy. I feel. This, I feel, is the environment around you, that they are going to be very gobsmacked to see you standing tall and going for some sort of new dream. And in fact, it may be the time to debut that new dream also this month. Okay. Um, and again, it could this could have been something, a plan you were working on in secret. Here's your plans in your hand um, so that when it does come out in November everybody is really surprised. Okay. But it's something also about your own independence, being a boss, being super creative. This is putting your own creative stamp on something. So, wow, really powerful energy. All right, let's pull a couple more cards really quick. Eight of wands. Interesting. Another number eight, the 10 of wands. Wow. Another card of moving on and the seven of wands. Look at all these wands. All right. So we have the rapid ending of a situation and the rapid acceleration towards something new. We know that from this energy because we're look at these matching energies we're getting with the sevens and the eights. And then the 10, of course, is the number of completion. So something that has been a burden to you, whatever that eight of cups situation was, that is wrapping up and it's wrapping up very rapidly with this eight of wands. Um, now, for some of you, because the Ten of Wands is a moving card, it's the parcels on the back. It's like actually putting your back into it and moving those boxes and, you know, getting, get the show on the road. Some of you could find that if you have been in the process of a move and it seemed to get stalled for some reason, because maybe there were hidden things. This could also, the Seven of Swords could represent the fact that the planets were all, almost every, we had like, we had like seven planets retrograde. I mean, I have to stop and count. I'm not going to do that. But we had like almost all the planets retrograde in like September, September into early October until Pluto went direct on the 6th. So it was like, that also could have been the holdup. The reason why you were still kind of in the shadows with whatever this was, it just couldn't get going because of all the retrograde energies. But now everything is popping um, another number eight, this is Leo energy, which ties in also with this, like you are ready. I'm telling you for this passionate new beginning. And for some of you, it really is aligned with a move. Now, maybe you just also are, maybe this move is, is getting in process for Sagittarius season. It may be about eight weeks. That's possible from when I'm filming this October 20th. So by the time we get to the solstice, y'all could be absolutely in some bright, beautiful, sunny new place. Um, literally, figuratively apply the energies to your life. Now, the seven of wands is here, which is interesting um, because this can be energy of um, having to bust through a barrier, a boundary. Um, also can be defending yourself, sure. But this is also about standing your ground. So I what and since we had the other seven, we've had three sevens, the seven of swords, the seven of wands and the seven of cups. What I feel about this is hold fast to your dream, defend your dream. In other words, with with your total commitment to it, you have a beautiful, bright new dream ahead for you. And it is absolutely worthy of you. It's something you want very badly. And the universe is conspiring to get this energy finally moving fast so that you can manifest it. So you have the energy, just stay grounded, do what you got to do, but fight for your dream is what I'm also feeling. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have a fight. I'm just saying like, don't settle for less, stand your ground, be firm, get what you deserve in whatever way that energy applies to your life, right? Because this is fabulous. Um, so, but it's wrapping up and it's wrapping up fast. And I feel like, I mean, look at this. This is like being in the shadows, as I said, and here you are standing in the sunshine. You're going to be standing in the sunshine out of the shadows. This could also be sort of like any type of, you know, kind of a little bit of the blues. You might've had the blues a little bit, you know, mentally. And it's like the sun will come out, will wash away. Well, it's a mixing my metaphor here, but 
The sun will burn out any of the last vestiges of little gloom here and you will be bright and shining. <laughs> here you are, all right? So just do what you gotta do, really. And know that it is right and appropriate and absolutely aligned. Whatever this new destination for you is in the sun, it is on point with you. Fully aligned. Like I'm not seeing any energy here that's that's not on point. It is absolutely on point for you. All right, Aries, let's see what else is going on for you in the month ahead with your money, career, and business life. Aries, what do we need to know? We have some eggs. We have some golden eggs. Starting over, saving up resources and nest egg, healthcare, new opportunities, and insurance. That's under the career thing. But this is beautiful. Eggs. I love these golden eggs. So again, a message of starting over. This is very uh, clear in this reading that we've had so far with the other energies, but also saving up resources and building your nest egg. All right, so let's see what we need to know about that. You're having an inspired fresh start. I mean, that's what this is right here. And also that walking away in the 10 of wands. So, but the, the, the golden eggs are up to you. That's the thing, right? It's about you taking charge of that energy. Okay, and how you use your resources. All right, let's see. But also the golden eggs get created from your own creativity, your own power, possibly even with your own business because your, your air emperor card rules the CEO. Okay, so any situations that have been unfruitful in the past where you couldn't get going, maybe for the last three months, something was stuck and stalled, any like like forward steps, like got pushed back and you were getting very, very frustrated. You were feeling like everybody else was moving on and having things going on. And somehow you were disinvited from the moving on party <laughs> with this three of cups upside down here. All right, let's see what else we have. Six of swords, moving on. Queen of pentacles and the moon upside down. All right, interesting because I'm filming this on the full moon, your full moon. Um, Okay, so what's really great about this is the best cards here are the ones that are upright, <laughs> which is the Queen of Pentacles manifesting a new opportunity for yourself and the Six of Swords. So because you are moving on mentally, but some of you are also moving on literally, like troubles are passing away. You're, you're, you're getting out of Dodge, you're getting out of town. Emotionally, you're done. You're done mentally. And you're also done physically with this 10 of wands. So it's like on all levels, it's all systems go, get out of here, get out of this energy, you know, move along. And it's that freedom that's going to bring you the manifestation potential. And you got the queen of pentacles. We're asking about the, you know, the eggs, the golden eggs. But the queen of pentacles, she is a fantastic manifester. But it's a lot about her intentions because notice how she is intently focused upon, you know, she's in real control of her mind and her thoughts, really focused on what she wants to create, which is her pentacles. So it's important for you also to concentrate on what you want to create absolutely with, with these energies. And that's also corroborated over here. So, you know, Fantastic. And actually changing your environment in some way is really going to go a long way toward manifesting your potential as well. So this could be changing your work environment. If you're not, you know, if you're already self-employed, it could just be that you need a fresh up, a spruce up in your home office, as an example, to just shift out some stagnant energy. Others of you, you're really moving. This has been a theme for Aries for the last like two, three months. Um, others of you, you just need a freshening up of the current energies around you and let going, let go of old stuff, old energy, etc. Now let's look at the three upside down cards for a moment in context together. Um, this moon upside down is also, I feel with these energies helping you move along from a situation that really was crazy making moon upside down. It was driving you bananas that the situation hadn't moved forward. Um, also, since we're asking about 
these eggs. It's important for you, if you're involved in any sort of financial dealings from now, your full moon, October 20th, all the way to the end of November, your Sagittarius season, um, because the Three of Cups upside down is a cheating energy, I just also want to emphasize, now this is not a prediction, these are always energies and you're responsible for using the energies. Um, if you are involved in any sort of um, resources, you know, saving up anything you're doing, Make sure you investigate it thoroughly and don't just take somebody at their word with the page of wands upside down because you could, this could bring, or some of you, this may bring some sort of uh, financial uh, cheating to light, so to speak. So not that you did it, but somebody else might've done it. And you know, with that seven of swords we had in the other, the other cards we pulled, I mean, it's possible now seeing this also that Somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, maybe with some sort of financial deal, but you're too smart for that. You're not going to let it happen, but just investigate it. Make sure you're patient and you don't just hurry, sign a piece of paper and then get cheated out of something. Okay. So also pay attention to this at the uh, full moon on the 19th in November, because that is a full moon lunar eclipse. And it's in your second house of money. If you have Aries rising, it's in Taurus. So I want you, and that's around the third week, Scorpio season. Here's the three of cups upside down. So Aries, just make sure any sort of financial dealings, I think this is saying, investigate thoroughly, don't jump the gun, and you'll save yourself maybe a problem, okay? So just keep that in mind. Again, knowledge is power. Not saying anything bad's gonna happen, but use the energies. Just be on alert, all right? So, but this is fabulous. I feel like you're gonna make a lot of forward progress also toward your financial goals. And the reason why also is because you're going to be focused on some sort of new dream and joyful project, joyful energy, that's just going to light you up versus the energy that you've kind of, you know, had around you before, which was this seven of swords. So great energy, time to move along and embrace the new dream, which also involves some new financial moolahs for you so the golden eggs aries that is a great image to meditate on for the next six weeks i love you guys leave me a comment let me know what's going on for you let me know how your full moon in aries was um yeah have a great month embrace that creative change and that creative energy all right you got this have a great month take care i'll see you again soon stella wild signing out